Well, good morning. Jack of all trades here. Today we're going to do a video about bump firing and then burst firing a semi-automatic AK-47. It's not a very useful talent, but it's kind of fun, so we're going to do it anyway. Well, anyway, this is a this is a Romanian semi-automatic AK-47, and you can do a bump fire with any semi-automatic. Uh, uh, rifle that's got a recoil, an SKS, an AR, an AK. Today we're going to use an AK because I find them a little bit easier. And uh, this Romanian example shoots the 762 by 39, the standard Russian ammunition or older Russian ammunition. It's uh, 762 millimeter, which is 30 caliber in diameter, and the shell is 39 millimeters long. The magazines that I like to use. Are Russian or Romanian. Any Eastern Bloc magazine is usually pretty high quality, but I prefer the Russian or Romanian. They're well built, have heavy lips, and they load easily. One little trick I've learned to loading them is if you hold the magazine like this so that the shell is being inserted into the magazine vertically, they'll snap right in without any problem. And even though this magazine is nearly fully loaded and the spring pressure starts to get high, you can see that they'll just pop right in, no problem at all. Easy to do, nothing gets jammed. There we go, she's loaded. We're ready to go, so what do you say? We go out to the range and give it a try. Okay, here we are at the range. And we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna show you how it's done without any, without any ammunition so that uh, you can see what's going on. Now, first thing is, this is a safety. It's got a little tab that sticks out, so you want to make sure you don't keep your finger off of that. It might get cut. Another thing to remember is when you're holding this, because you're going to be holding it down, is make sure you keep your thumb on top. That way it can't get away from you. And the trick is, you're acting like a spring against the trigger. And the recoil of the rifle is what makes it articulate or go back and forth and go off. And you can do this with any semi-automatic, center fire rifle, one with enough recoil to make it work for you. But here's how it's done. I use my I use my pants pocket because I'm getting a little tubby in my old age, but younger fellas, skinnier guys, skinnier people might like the belt loop. It's a little bit easier. Anyway, the way it's done, you put your thumb through the trigger hole like that, then you'll I hook my first knuckle onto my pocket with your hand forward so that the bony part of your thumb is into the trigger. And you want to maintain pressure forward, and that's all you have to do. Make sure you have a good stance, because it is going to push you around. I like to use a nice shoulder width stance. So you insert your thumb through the trigger guard, hook onto your pocket, pull forward with your, or push forward against your pocket, thumb over top of the rifle, and what you're going to do is pull, pull forward on it until it fires. It would have been nice if I'd have cocked it. Hold on. I'm mistaking the tape. Hand away from the safety. Pull forward. And maintain that pressure pull forward. And it should go through the entire magazine. You can stop anytime you want by coming back on it and starting again. And that's how it's done. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Well, there you go. Bump fire in the AK-47. Not very useful, that's for sure. Now we're going to try and burst fire. That's a little bit harder, so we'll try that in a minute. Okay, now we've done our bump fire. Let's make this a little harder. We're going to do burst fire, or sort of controlled automatic fire. Well, we'll try and do three or five or six rounds at a time, but yet hit our target down there at 100 yards. It's the same technique, except uh, the difference is you're going to use your forearm, or your left arm in my case, as a spring like you always do, but you're going to relax that spring pressure and it'll stop firing and then you can pull the trigger and start again. So you can do bursts. So it's 
um, you know, a five round burst and then relax. Five round burst and then relax. And that's how it works. So let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. 200 yards, we're gonna try and take out our diggers. Now you've seen how we bump fire and burst fire a semi-automatic AK-47. Let's clear this thing. Make sure we're good. We are. Uh, like I said, it's not a very it's not a very useful talent, but it is kind of fun. You can show it to your friends somewhere, and they'll think you know more than you really should. Anyway, for uh, for Jim and Doug and the 70 million other people out there that we want to make self-sufficient and self-reliant. Um, Jack of all trades here saying, be aware, take care, peace.